people on YouTube, this is Caffeine Jedi with, uh, I actually have two guests, even though you can only see one, because uh, the third one, or second one, is a little too camera shy. Yeah. So, that one was her. <laughs> I'm really, sure she's now. We're actually protecting his identity because he's currently being researched by the FBI. But, yeah. <laughs> Don't say that, you know, they're not going to track me down the For the sake of, like, for the sake of this video, he's too shy. <laughs> What we're going to talk about is, since there's been a lot of uh, bullying cases on the news, which actually have led to some suicides, I figure it's a good subject to talk about since... I haven't heard anything about this, so you're going to have to tell me. Alright, so what happened is there's a girl, this is one of many, because there's also been cases uh -huh. like before. Yeah. Um, she was Canadian, I think. I named, her name was Amanda Todd, and apparently what happened was that she went to some guy's house, the guy kind of tricked her into showing her boobs, into flashing her boobs to a camera. I know, but it sounds really good. I can't, I can't, I can't, Jesus. I can't, no, yeah. No, um, and I feel terrible having um, a reaction, but yeah. But she flashed her, her boobs on camera, and then the guy like blackmailed her, and then he showed the pictures to all these girls at school, all these people at school, and all the people at school like treated her like crap, and one girl like beat the shit out of her. I don't know if that's the whole story to it, but like essentially something like that happened, and then they were like bothering her on Facebook, and they were like following her all over the internet, and she tried to drink bleach to kill herself the first time. Then she made a YouTube video which talked about what happened and then a month later she succeeded in How? killing herself. How did she kill herself? I, I don't quote me on this, I think she hung herself. I believe. That's awful. Yes, I know it's awful. And um, I guess what I wanted to talk about was like I remember uh, we were saying before about the it gets better movement like this whole like anti-bullying movement and you know you and me but apparently not our guest, not our, our hidden guest, have experienced at least some bullying before. Um, like mild cases of definitely like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean like... You've been picked on it. You know yeah, what it's like to be... Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I would say that not anywhere near. Like, because I grew up in France and the bullying culture in France is completely different. There isn't one to what there is in the UK. So in that in France I didn't experience it, but in the UK I can appreciate that yeah, some people really got bullied. But what I find really scary is that these days you have this whole like taking pictures of people. Facebook. What what is with this? Um, I mean, this is like the new generational thing. Uh, taking these sex texts and sex these pictures thing, yeah. of people and spreading it around the school and it's like. We never had that. Like, I find that really scary, the idea that someone's going to take a, a, a sex video of you and spread it around the school when you're, like, 14. It's whole new levels of, like, fucked upness. Well, th this is something I definitely can't, like, say anything about because at that age, Facebook didn't exist. Yeah. Nobody even knew where I lived. Yeah, well, <laughs> same, same with me. You know, so, yeah, I think I definitely had my, my share of... Uh, bitchy cheerleader tormentors when I was about 13. It's called old school bullying. Old school bullying. That's where it used like to be the, old the good old days. Where they would just come up to you and like be like, you're so ugly, you're a dumb bitch. Before Kim like, Kardashian and Ray J, before Pammy and Tommy, before Paris Hilton, before naked sexting, texting, photos and the web, it used to just be like, you're an ugly bitch. Yeah. Get well, out of my face. I, I was picked on actually because I was so shy and timid. I yeah. know that like people think, uh, oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, you know, because I get actually, the reason I'm making this is because lots of people on YouTube recently, especially women, have sent me lots of private messages thanking me for like, being like, like, oh, thanks, you're so strong, you're so inspirational, and it's really odd to me to hear this because I don't, I don't feel like this at all. And like, you know, because they're like, oh, I've had bad situations with a boyfriend and I uh -huh. watch your videos and that helps a lot. And, and I really appreciate you sending me this, but it, at the same time, I feel very, like, I don't know how to handle it because that was never my intent. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. But, You're an accidental hero, so. But I don't think I'm really, like, a hero. I think that I just, like, speak my mind. But I am someone who experienced a lot of problems when I was, like, uh, 12 to 13. And then when I was 14... This is actually what, what I did. I became the biggest, meanest bitch ever. Mm -hmm. I just was Everyone not. Everyone goes through that phase. Up, I right? was just not yeah. nice, but like, like, but I think that's the phase, and then like just becoming an absolute bastard. Yes, but I think that the bastard phase is what breaks you from the bullying. I don't think we should call it bastard mm -hmm. phase. I think we should call it backlash phase <laughs> <laughs> because essentially that's what it is. And I know I had that when I was about 13, 14 as well. I'd always been the girl who got kicked out of the group. 
like I had a group of friends at school, like six, seven of us, and I was always the girl who they one day decide, okay, she needs to go. And then I get kicked out and I go and eat on my own for a bit. And then they decide, you know, a month later, oh, you can come back and join us now. I was always that girl. And then I got to 14 and I just started to get pissed off with them. And I just started to be really sarcastic and snap at them and, and like make little snide jokes and like bitch back and just really start to like show more character. And it was like suddenly, like the balance changed completely in my favor. Like suddenly there was no more like, oh, we don't want to hang out with you this week. <laughs> it was really, they, they found a newfound respect for me. So I definitely get the backlash phase. I think everyone's been through that. I think that like with mine though, it actually, like it warped my personality. Yeah. My personality now yeah, is the too. shadow of, of what it what it was, and yeah, I remember just because like I was I was very mousy. I think is was what I could say when I was really young, and like these girls, they were always threatening to beat me up. They never succeeded. They never actually did. I think they were all just bark and no bite, especially yeah. since you know. Even though bullying wasn't what it is now, which is, you know, very, like, the media really pays attention to it. And I think the schools probably pay attention to it a little more than they used to, even though people are always saying all oh, these schools Well, are I boring. think that they're probably scared that someone's going to commit suicide. So well, then you have a real problem, you know? Yeah, but... That's I, extreme bullying, though. I think, like, everyday school-to-school bullying is, like, a lot different. Like, I don't think a lot of kids in school would, like, debate suicide over bullying, though. Like, I, I got bullied a lot, but... Well, like, like we were saying earlier, there's also a very strong possibility that people who do end their lives because of bullying probably had problems before. Yeah, and also you have to bear in mind that there's some teenage um, suicides which are not due to bullying and are unrelated. For all appearances, attempts and purposes, you can look like you've got a perfect life and kill yourself. So I don't think it's necessarily suicide has a lot to do with a person's mental health and a fragility there and issues internally, which may be obviously not helped by external factors such as bullying, but I don't think it's fair to just boil it down to that one thing. And also, if you're gonna talk about mental health in the situation of bullying, let's also consider the bulliers. Like there's systematically being cruel and mean and horrible to another person is in itself a, a form of, of I don't want to say mental illness, but you've got something wrong with you. It's like sadistic, like why do you want to be so mean to someone? Why are you so horrible? What is it inside of I you? Find, but it's always from the family, isn't it, I think? Like, it's kind of like that's how they've been treated, so then like they're taking like their kind well, of anger out on so, other people because they're receiving anger, I think. Like, I think it's both that and not only just receiving anger, because sometimes it's not. Sometimes these children are like the praise and apple of their parents' eye to the point that these people have no boundaries and they think that's okay because I think there's di different types of bullies and then they see their parents treating random people like crap. I think that it comes from that a lot. Like mm -hmm. maybe their parents aren't mean to them and their parents have taught them that you can do no wrong, you're like my angel, my, my personal Jesus and like, but their parents will like, you know, go through a drive through get mad that their order wasn't perfect and just like, to start cursing out the the attendant like fuck yeah. you you dumbass bitch and, you know I hope you fucking die like you know what kind of message is that then giving to kids is that okay like to, to have those reactions but there's lots of people who do that I would think of it maybe even be interesting if rather than focusing like campaigns such as um, it gets better maybe it'd be interesting to have a campaign or to have a moment of focus on don't change the way the victim feels towards bullying but let's change why people bullying in the first place. Like why are there, it was like, it was like as if it's just a way things are. Okay, look, bullying happens. What we need to change is how you deal with it. And rather than having that approach, like, oh, how can people who are victims of bullying deal with it differently? Maybe we should stop and think, okay, well, why are people getting bullied? Why are there children who do this? Why are kids so mean? And maybe what about a campaign which was actually about, hey, don't be such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop that what you're doing, like be nice. nice. <laughs> Look, I'm online all the time, and I put myself on, on YouTube, so mm -hmm. trust me when I say- Do you ever I've... receive like negative comments? <sighs> Jesus no. Christ! Okay, I'm gonna leave a link right here. This is probably my most popular video. And just look at like the first page of comments. I think there's over a thousand comments. She even disabled, um, was it that video? Why yes, but I had? put them back on. She disabled it because it was getting so bad. Really? And I was like, no, Steph, I had put to... it back on. You're like, right, because even I, look, I understand because as much as I go online, like, there was at, at least a 48-hour period, I would say. It was a good 48 hours where I was just like, fuck, I can't take this anymore. 
And, and actually, everyone who is on YouTube goes through it. Everyone, you know, we don't always talk about it, but it happens to every single person who, who actually makes YouTube mm. videos. There's not a person on YouTube, unless you disable all the comments, and like, you don't allow yourself to get private messages that won't receive at least something negative. But sometimes, they'll just say the meanest, most horrible thing you could possibly think of. And like I said, link to this video. Read the comments on this. If you want to watch the video, I'm sure a lot of people have because it's by far my most popular video. But, you know, the point is, it doesn't get better. You just learn to fucking ignore it. Mm. Or you learn, like, to confront it. You know, some people say, like, don't feed the trolls or don't feed the assholes. But, like, um, I, I had made a video because I had gotten kind of a violent threat. Somebody said they wanted to choke me. I knew, in reality, 99.9% .9 of the time, 99.999%, this guy was a pussy who wasn't going to even do anything to me. That's what yeah, I mean. You don't hear that. Yes, I, just think yes, I know that. Yes, I know that. Those type of comments, they're just so immature and they just never dare it say that. It was like a 40 comments, something like... year old man. That was the sick thing. Um, one of the worrying things is that these days, bullying has taken another level. Is that yeah. we used to have to make do face to face bullying and that was bad enough. And mean notes. Like... Right, exactly. <laughs> but now that you have Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, um, blogs, YouTube blogs. It's like never ending the amount of, of conversations and networking you can do online. It's got to the point where actually you don't even have to be a person with a strong enough character that you can go up to someone at your school and be a bitch to them. Now you can just be a bitch online. You can hide behind some random other person's name. You can put um, an anonymous front in uh, anonymous screen in front of you and you could be someone completely different and you can still bully people that way so not you're getting so many more people bullying these days because it's so much easier to bully people and so much more widespread because now you can do it with the ease uh, that is online my younger brother's 14 i see so many of his comments people comment on his videos or he comments on pictures and it's so really harsh stuff like a girl's Fat or ugly, for instance, and it'll be like, oh, put it away, Minga. Would they say that in real life? Maybe not, but they can say it online. It's just because... a coward's way of doing it. It's just they haven't got the balls to say it. Yeah, but so, many, so like... many people are cowards. Yeah, and now at that age, especially the age it's of 12, so yeah, and 13. Now it's like cowards have a platform. I think a lot of people that are like, writing negative comments on YouTube it, like, and stuff are just like, like just children that are like 13, 14. Well, you would hope, like, but you know, you, you find a lot of them, and I'm looking at you people. <laughs> Old enough to know better. Yeah. Like, and sometimes scary old enough to know better. Yeah. Like, the fact that you're a fucking adult is scary. Yeah, another thing that's scary is that, for example, if you talk about the kids now and there's these stories coming out of, you know, young girls, 14, 15, getting videotaped, uh, having a sex tape or with their tops off or that sort of thing, worrying that these things are happening. But then, um, they're having the additional humiliation of not only is it being spread around their school, but it gets posted onto the next school in the next town and the next town. It's like soon you can't escape it. It's not like geographically you can damage control that that naked pic those naked pictures of yourself. It's like once it's on the web, it doesn't matter if it's next year or two years later. Once it's on the web, you cannot get rid of it, and that's something that celebrities have to deal with. But also, as a 14-year-old girl, if you've had a bad situation at school or you've been bullied, it's going to happen to you as well, and you'll never be able to get rid of those pictures. They're always going to pop up somewhere. So then, what advice would you give to someone who has had that happen to them? Oh God! Um, because I, I would say some people might look at this video. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I say? Okay. Like, you can't like get rid of it. You yeah, absolutely. Problem, you so can't. You like, you need to adapt in, to like. It's kind yourself. of in a way you gotta embrace it. You know, it's um sort of like. What Paris happens? Hilton and her sex tape. <laughs> Paris is, you know, turn lemons into lemonade. That's always what Kris Jenner says. And I think that's exactly what she did with Kim Kardashian. If it's a situation, you know, it's like the word, it's like the word fag, queer, gay. It used to be a negative thing. You call a fag uh, a fag. It was a bad thing. <laughs> but what did they do? They owned it. They said, okay, yeah, that's right. I'm a fag. I'm a queer. They took back that word. And in a way, <coughs> if that's happened to you where your boyfriend... Um, ex -boyfriend. I don't know, oh, ex-boyfriend probably burned out after this has happened. You know, you've ended up getting some kinky stuff happening, it's been filmed on his phone, whatever, or you sent him a nice picture of yourself, topless or in nice underwear, and the douchebag is going to spread it around school. You're just going to be like, yeah, 
You know, that's right. That's so me. Mention he has a tiny penis. Mention to everyone. Run with that rumor. Yeah. Tiny dick. You have to you have to hold your, your head up high and just be like, yeah, that's right, that's me naked. Or like, yeah, that's right. Or I've got me. acne. Or, or yeah, you know what? It. Hey, deal with it. Deal with it. That is me. But until you get to the point where you can just be like Fuck you for ruining my life. I'm not gonna live like this anymore. And hold your head up high and just going to school. Like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm not going to let you ruin my life. Then you're always gonna be the victim. And they're always gonna prey on you because they're always gonna sense that you're weak. And that will be a problem throughout the rest of your life. Because if you start now, letting people grind you down, then it will be a problem at work. It will be a problem in and later on in relationships, it will never stop being a problem. You're all, there'll always be people out there who want to prey on you because you're vulnerable. So you have to not be the vulnerable person. You have to say, no, I will not be a victim. So, I mean, it's within your hands to change your life. I think that's an important message. Don't be looking at other people to stop bullying you because that may never happen. And thank fuck that you haven't got their issues because you may be victim of someone who's a real dickhead. But imagine how messed up he must be in his head that he takes pleasure and enjoyment from actually tormenting you. Imagine what's going on in that person's head. How, how bad they must be. What kind of place are they in? How can that possibly be an enjoyable experience? And I find if you like look at people like, I did get bullied a little bit at school. And I think if I look now at where they are and where I am, yeah. I think I'm just in like a much better position. Oh yeah, like, I think so too. It's just the, it's the truth. It's like, so like like there's like the cool like chubby people that are like just sporty jocks yeah. at school where like they don't like pay attention to class or anything. But then you always just end up on top. Like you say like I'm at uni now. I know I will have a good job within a few years. And yeah. I look at them and they're in the same town where we grew up and they're just in dead end jobs and that's their life. And then yeah, they're just like gonna be miserable. Like, yeah. At some point you're gonna go like this and yeah. they're gonna plateau. Yeah. You just have to wait for that moment. And they plateau like at their like like a six form or college, like yeah. that's like the highlight of their life and then that's it. Like But it really saddens me to think that there's actually kids out there who feel like that's you can't see past that that you can't see past school, who can't see past the end of the day, mm -hmm. who can't look past the, the horror and torment that their bullying is and think that you would actually end your life or suffer so many years of pain and horrible emotional um, torture just because someone else was addicted to you. And it's kind of like, it really pains me to think that you, you, you in a way, you, you let that happen to yourself because it's sort of like, you've got to have that strength within you where it's like, fuck you, like, don't break me, like, don't be such a dick to me. And you build up that, that thick skin because they may never stop bullying you at the end of the day. It's not saying that's going to stop I happening. think in extreme circumstances where people kill themselves, it must just be more like campaigns of hate rather than bullying. Like, What's the, the campaigns of hate? What is this? I find, I find, you know, to be perfectly honest, since, you know, even though Adam's a dude in here, but let, let's face the truth, in a lot of these situations, it's girls on girls. That are doing yeah, I mean, bullying. that's so true. It, it's really like, and I want to know, like, wh why are women the first ones to call you a slut? It's actually like, and it's a lot of this, yeah. the girl showed her boobs. The, the fucked up thing is, I'm reading comments on videos, also videos addressing this girl because she showed her boobs and they're like, well, if she shouldn't have been such a slut, this wouldn't have happened to her, which is like a big girl, fuck you. You know what? You have no reason to judge. If you are looking at porn, which I know if you're a dude, you definitely are. Yeah. Everybody okay, does. don't fucking lie to me. <laughs> okay, you're not allowed to enjoy it if you have in the same fucking thought calling some little 14 year old girl who yeah guess what show your boobs i don't think it's a good idea i think maybe it will come back to haunt you and i certainly don't think anyone that age has the mental capacity to really understand the repercussions yeah, of that absolutely, yeah. but at the same time who the fuck are you to judge? Do we have to go into everybody's closet and pull out everybody's what, shit because everybody got something? Yeah, that's what I mean when I say like, if someone's calling you a slut because, okay, if you slept with too many guys at school or you're 15 and you slept with someone or I don't know, someone took a picture of you naked, whatever the situation is and people are brand you a slut or like, uh, what's the other common words in America? Slap. A hoe. <laughs> what's your English word? If someone's some calling you, you a hoe, slag, or a slapper, or a slag, mm. whatever. At the end of the day, the best thing to do, the only thing to do, is just to own it. It's like, yeah, you know what? Fine. You want to call me a slag? You want to call me a slag? You want to call me a Yeah, I tell you what, beat them to it. Say like, yeah, I'm a slag, and what? 
Like, yeah, I'm a hag, what you gonna do about it? You know, beat them to it and then own it. And then they're just gonna be like, yeah, you, you slurp and be like, yeah, and? Is that Actually, funny want? enough, I recently I found out that someone had been slagging me off on Facebook. Shut and up! And that they said that they had, um, they, I didn't have them as a friend on Facebook, but a friend recommended that I look at their profile. And the person had said that they punched me in the face and broke my nose. And <gasps> um, he uh, said that, yeah, basically, he said they punched me in the face, and then I went up to him in the club. You put it on his status on Facebook? Like, someone posted, and then like six people liked it, that, um, that he punched me in the face. And I went up to him, and I was like, no, you did not punch me in the face. Like, what are you saying? And he backed down straight away, and then as soon as he found out I knew about it, he deleted it. And it just shows that people are so, like, eager to like, look big on the internet. I and think so, stuff, too. I think... Just, back down as soon as you bring up with them in person? 90% of the time I think that works. Yeah. I really do think that that works to actually just confront someone and say, and you know, you don't have to be nice about it. You don't have to be like, you're hurting my feelings. I'm sorry, I know some people will take that approach and be like, look, you know, you're hurting my feelings. No, they obviously don't I, don't, I don't, exactly, they don't care. You gotta just be, I, I, I hate to say it, but sometimes you just have to be the biggest freaking asshole or bitch you can be. Just like, Make it, like, almost enjoy the fact that they can't get to you anymore because it'll get to that point. It'll get to the point that they're annoyed that they can't bother you. And then just laugh in their faces about it. You can really, like, I swear that that is exactly what works for me. Yeah. And also, you know what I will say is that, um, seriously, blog about it, make YouTube videos, whatever it is, I really think that it would help if you feel like you're the only person who, or you're the total reject at school, you're the only person that that is unpopular and you've already been picked on and you're so alone in this pain and suffering. I think that actually making a video about it on YouTube or talking about it in a vlog would make you realize that there are so many other people out there who are going through the same thing. But, but on that, that, that note, you will also get the douchebags. Yeah, but I think it will make, yes, I know that. It make you more confident. Yes, it, okay, you know, you're right, you're right. You just like, no, I, I think people who end up going to the extremes of suicide prison are people who don't articulate the way they feel, who don't deal with it, who don't open up about it. Open up, be honest, talk about it, tell your parents, tell your family, you know, tell the few friends you have. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, well, we're, we're on this channel right now, so if you, if you actually are personally like feeling something, you can actually PM us. Or but on this one, it, it might, because I do get PMs quite a bit. I would yeah. say on a daily basis from different people for different reasons. But if it's really like an issue, I mean, I'm not saying we're going to fix your problem because, you know, we're just... No, but sometimes it just helps now. to talk about it. I mean, look, me and Steph used to be bullied. And look at us now, making videos <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in our kitchen. <laughs> it gets better, kids. It gets way better. <laughs> well, I think you learn to not let it bother you. In the, in the end, you're almost gonna start to feel pity for people like that at this point. Yeah, you do it this way. Yeah, I massively do. The people that, like, you like, kind of just, like, taught me or whatever, I look at them now and it's just like, where are you now? Like, who, who are you? And, like, yeah. compared, it's just like... Yeah, but they know that. That's why That's why you get picked on it. because yeah, and they'll feel some way that you're, you're trying to, like, be above your station or trying to better them. You know, it's no coincidence that the people who get picked on tend to be intelligent or tend to end up being quite, or have good grades at school, and the kids who pick on them are all closet gays. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a coincidence. <laughs> you know, they're angry about stuff in their own life, so seriously, it really sounds to me that there's some people out there who actually let that affect them so much, because you're gonna get to university and it's gonna be like, whoa. Like, people around me are intelligent, they're interesting, they be to the same thing and as me. And it's actually different mix of people as well. Different mix of people, yeah. they're treated like an equal, you make friends, and then later on in your life you're going to get a job, and you're going to meet someone, and you're going to have kids, and to think that you would stop yourself from enjoying that such a big part of your life, you know, don't let them win. Do not let them win, because that is just exactly what they want. I think so too, I, I agree. Have that on that. <laughs> Well, maybe I mean a bit controversial here, but really, you know, let's take another example of a young girl who is now in hospital due to a campaign of hate against her. Um, she's 14, she's from Pakistan, and um, she said some things about women being educated and, and the freedom movement and the, the rights of women, and she got shot by Taliban. I mean, you want to take a campaign of hate to the extreme, that's it right there, you know, that's, that's where hate can get you and um, she did nothing wrong. 
Okay, so don't think that people are getting bullied for a reason or if you're getting bullied it's because you've done something wrong. It's just people have their own views on things and they're going to impose them on you and there's nothing you can do about it except say fuck you.